Very good looking boat. So you're gonna have awesome visibility from inside the pilot house. I love it. I love the fact that you have this option to be down here with nice visibility all around and you know be comfortable in any weather there is a full beam aft cabin back here what's up everyone i am really excited to show you this boat as it is a truly unique one it's a 33 foot aluminum pilot house it's a custom one-off boat built in sweden and finished in norway and i mean i can almost guarantee you haven't seen a boat exactly like this before be sure to like and subscribe and let's explore this unique vessel together. All right guys, I just stepped aboard and taking a quick look at the cockpit, but we're gonna go forward first and come back to this. But I like what I'm seeing so far. This is a pilot house design and on the coach roof right here, there's some solar panels and stepping forward. So the deck used to be teak, but it has since been redone. All the holes were filled with an epoxy for aluminum because the deck is aluminum, so you don't have to worry about rot, which is awesome. So I believe the deck looked like, looked like that right there. Got some good ventilation and exhaust for the heater right there. This is a masthead sloop rig single spreader. There are mast steps going up the mast, which is pretty cool. Mainsail with a stack pack. And lazy jacks. Inboard shrouds. Nice long Genoa track. Little dinghy that's stored on deck right here. Got multiple cleats. One, two, three, four cleats up here. Furling Genoa. Vertical windlass. Aluminum bow spray right here with a Bruce anchor on the bow roller. Turn it aft. Very good looking boat. I love the fact that it's aluminum. in that it has a pilot house. So there's a hatch below the dinghy that goes down into the cabin. And then this is a very big bow locker for a, for a 33. So for this size boat, I don't think I've ever seen a bow locker this big. So that's nice to see, especially for cruising. Continuing aft. I like it. So you're gonna have awesome visibility from inside the pilot house. I forgot to mention nice wide side decks. You've got a handrail on the coach roof, but the boat could use some handrails going forward to the coach roof for sure. That's an easy fix though. This area right here is a little awkward. I'd probably put some better non-skid right there. But once you're in the cockpit, I like this cockpit design a lot. You've got a tiller, folds up and out of the way when not in use. For this size boat, I definitely think a tiller back here is best. Really nice roomy cockpit. Can be very protected as well with some canvas. You've got a arch on the back with a wind generator radar there's a wind vane self steering gear on the stern nice t-shaped cockpit that hatch is going to go into the aft cabin and i think you guys are going to really like 
what's back there in the aft cabin. Two primary winches back here. And then the main is sheeted, I believe, to there. I don't see any other any other logical place. That's a little odd for sure. Usually if there's no traveler, there's two main sheets, but I only see one. I'll get some clarification on that. Got some storage back here. No lockers under the cockpit seats because you'll see why in a little bit. All right guys, I like it. And then that right there is a nice big companionway hatch. Easy to get down for sure. And with that, let's head down below. All right guys, I just got down below and it really doesn't feel like I'm going down below because it's only a couple steps and you know, I'm in the pilot house. This is a really cool space. It's definitely a small boat. You know, it's, it's not the, not the biggest room in here, but it's nice and protected in here. You got your main steering position, good views all around 360 degree views. This is pretty much essential for a northern boat. I love it. And then support of the of the helm station is a nice comfortable main seating area, main salon table. Very nice. This can sit probably like, you know, four adults. Maybe a little more if you want to get cozy. All right, guys, I just want to say I absolutely love this setup. Now, again, this is a, you know, relatively small boat. So this pilot house is relatively small. I mean, look at me sitting here for scale. I'm sure you could probably adjust the seat a bit, but it is relatively small. However, I love it. I love the fact that you have this option to be down here with nice visibility all around and you know be comfortable in any weather while you're on a passage or while you're on watch. Very very cool. And you got everything you need to steer the boat minus the adjustment of sails which you know you're gonna have to go out to do. But when you're on a long passage adjusting the sails is a very small fraction of you know that passage usually if things are going right going forward down here is the galley it is you know just big enough but it's nice and protected easy to brace down here you've got everything you need and nothing you don't gimbaled stove sink fridge you do have to take a couple more steps down we are a little bit lower than the pilot house but like I said what more do you need this is all you need to to make food aboard up here is the diesel heater pretty much a necessity for a northern boat like this and then to port is the the wet head and this is actually a pretty good size wet head so you know for this size boat pretty good head it is right across from the galley though continuing forward there is a pretty spacious forward cabin and it is a Pullman style berth up here not a V berth and then as you guys saw forward of this is a really big bow walker lots of storage up here Hanging locker. Really nice. I'm liking this boat a lot, to be honest. I guess I just really like northern boats. <laughs> Storage down below. The berth there. And continuing aft. Got to take a couple steps up and through the 
pilot house, we're gonna take a look at the surprise on this boat. What I'd consider a surprise, because it surprised me. There is a full beam aft cabin back here with a with a berth that that's probably bigger than a king a thwart ships and then maybe like a queen size or maybe even bigger fore and aft so this is a huge space I love this and there's even some storage very very nice Distribution panel just aft of the home station. All right, just wanted to take a look at the the motor, which I believe, yep, it's going to be right, right there. So, looks like an Isuzu diesel. I believe the owner said it's 67 horsepower, and there's 700 liters of fuel, you know, in in tankage on this boat. So, lots of horsepower, lots of fuel. Very nice. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. So what did you think? Be sure to leave a comment down below. I know I really enjoyed this boat and although it is not in, you know, the best shape in the world, it needs some work. It is a proven cruiser. The current owner has sailed it extensively. So it's just ready to continue cruising. Definitely get a survey with someone who is experienced with aluminum hulls. Be okay with the idea of DIYing your work on this boat in the future, and this boat has potential to be a good one. This is actually a private sale, so the owner's contact information as well as the current asking price is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to do all the usual stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong, but I learned my lesson.